Well, hello. So, we are going to be going over a tutorial today of torsion suspension. Give you products that end up like this. Let me go over here. Now, this is using a zero turn E2 with uh, two boxes in the back. I'm going to be teaching you all a more simplified method. But, this is basically what you're going to end up with. It's going to be the exact same type of suspension. I run an electric engine on most of my uh, tanks. Someone on here wants to watch it when it's done, but uh... Anyway, so what we're going to do, head to a garage and make sure you're building north. Always make sure you're building north. A way to find this if you haven't found the car video is you can put down a spray, but for servers like this that use spray mesh, that's probably not a possibility for you. So paint smiles. The top of the smile will always go north. On this map, north is this direction. So what we're going to spawn in, let's do a 8... Let's do a 78 by 144 plate. Now, spawn and go up to these little plates here and spawn in a 3 by 24. That's what I like using because it gives you plenty of ground clearance. For some tanks, you want to use a 318, but I like ground clearance, so. And we're going to spawn in 5 of these. <coughs> I recommend after y'all watch this, try making another one just so y'all could get stuck in your head or else you'll forget quite easily like I always do. So I'm just shift e in, holding shift E, clicking on the prop and moving my mouse to lock it. A lot of y'all probably already know that, just putting it out there for the ones that don't. And I like to before attack them holding C and disabling collisions on them. Because no matter what, you're going to have this, like, collisions disabled on those anyhow, so might as well do it now. Alright, so, if you want to be a user, I'm going to use, you could just use precision. Like, just the normal precision tool, click, move, E, left click, go over here. I would like to go to these centers, E, left click. Now, if you want to learn how to move with precision alignment, select hit pose. Go to your proper you want, hold E. Well, yeah. Hold E, left click. Go over here to your prop. Now, I'm going to do it for one, two, three, four. Every four plates, so I'm going to hold, well, five, six. I'll do it for every, no, well, one, two, three, four, five, five. So, hold shift then hold E. Make sure you hold shift when you do this one to place a second point. You could also manually select second there, but now you press, well, basically it. You right click this prop, you hold Q, 1 to 2, because point 1 is going to point 2, and move entity. Right click the ground, delete all, and you can keep on. I'm going to do it again. Hold E, left click, Aim over here. We're doing it for every five. So one, two, three, four, five. Hold shift, E, left click. Make sure you hold shift still. Right click, one to two. <coughs> right click, delete all. Now I like using this tool because it's a little bit faster whenever it comes to stuff like this. One, two, three, four, five. It just makes stuff faster. That's all it does. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Now with this, we might run complications with the rear because the way the hydraulics are set, but we'll find that out. Rip. LL. I mean KK. <laughs> now, going through... Well, we're not going to be doing the wheels yet. Let's just work on these props. Let's do weighing real quick. So make your base prop 1500 and make all these torsion bars. Well, I forgot one thing. Snap to center lines, check that, hit pose plus normal, aim towards the center of your base, and left click. You should see this at the center of your base. 
Unleft click, snap to center lines, that's only really used for that. Aim down here on the side of your plate and left click again. You should see it point this way. Now right click this, press R, rotation functions, mirror cross plane, point long, hold shift and left click. And then from there, hold shift and left click on your prop. Well, right click on your prop. Hold shift and right click. Hold shift and right click. Hold shift and right click and hold shift and right click. You could do it that way or you could just keep going to the menu. Now what we're going to do, really quickly, weigh these to 250. So 250, 250, 250, 250, 250. 250. 250, 250, I'm going slow on purpose here. <laughs> now let's use, I want to say, maybe? Uh, we'll use wheel 25 for this. I know pretty small wheels for the torsion, but it's just a tutorial. So spawning wheels 25, spawning five of these. For you have five torsions on one side. Yep. I always like making sure these boxes are up because I like my wheels being all nice and perfect. You don't have to, but people like me like to. <laughs> now go back to precision or precision alignment and you can move them. So we're just moving them to here. You can move them like that or you could do precision alignment, hold E. With hit post selected, left click, shift E, left click, right click, one to two, move entity. You could do it that way as well. But we're going to go down here with precision where I like to use and go doink, 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 and doink. Now, Y'all may be wondering, well, how do we get for like tank tracks and stuff, these wheels centered more up here for the front and rears. With that, I like to use, where is it, stacker improved. <coughs> Select the front of the wheel, because this one's aiming front. And you adjust these values. So I'm going to have it back front to, and I'll have it up, let's say, 20. Yeah. And then left click make sure well stacked props is off no class stacked props off just keep free stacked props now you go here to the left side and do the same thing now if your wheels not spun around like that and it says like front space in that way you set it to back and then we're going to go to precision alignment right click your wheel same thing Hold shift, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. Now all the wheels are set up. I'm going to access center these wheels to this, this to this, this to this, this to this. Right now we're access centering. <coughs> now, go to ball, no, precision alignment, hit pose. Now you see this, it'd be a lot easier if I didn't do the wheels first and I wanted it. Yeah, most likely. Alright. Oh, that's kind of a bad idea, but it's kind of there now. So I'm going to set a fading door on these. So we'll go 7, 7, 7. Eh, you're not needed. Boink. Fading door allows you to go through them. So, you know, I'm just going to fading door all my wheels. It's pretty good thing to do for when you work, have to work in your tank and everything's all make sphere cold. It's pretty good to make sphere, like, fade your wheels, just don't tap the button while you're driving or else you're gonna have a bad day. Especially if you're in a battle. But anyways, back to hit pose. So aim right here, and you wanna go down to the center line. Hold shift E for the second point where in hit pose. Press R, constraints, access, point one to two, Here's the settings, you zero, 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 no collide. Create constraint, you don't have to hold shift there. Ball socket advanced, copy these settings. Negative 40 for X min, 25 for X max. Frictions are zero, Y min, negative 0.1, Z min, negative 0.1, Y max, 
0.1 and Z max 0.1. Free movement and no collide must be checked. And then place that on there. Now you could delete all those. I preferably like doing a bunch of them at one time, so hold shift E, doink, 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 and doink. And then I could go just here, one to two, three to four, five to six, seven to eight, one to two, Three to four, five to six, seven to eight. Delete all. And I'm gonna go on this side and get this side done. I always like to do the front one separately, and then I'll do all the four back ones because usually ever all I ever use. So one to two, ball socket. One to two. Delete all. You don't have to hold shift with any of those ball sockets or axes. Doink, doink. And a doink and a doink. R, one to two, three to four, five to six, seven to eight. One to two, three to four, five to six, seven to eight. Boink. Delete all. Alright. Now F7, because now those are mostly set. Your wheels, these you access to these main plates, these you want to access them to the torsion bar, so access center, this wheel to the, this, this to 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 this, and this to this. So now the wheels are attached to that. Now. Pressing 7 again, we are going to place down our hydraulics. So, left click right here in the corner, left click, go up and over to this line. And then place. Doink. 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 Let y'all look at that real quick. Alright. And do this for all your wheels. <coughs> it could be very time consuming, the hydraulic portion, but it's worth it in the end. This one you're just going to be going to the very end there. I really should have got a little bit longer of a plate if I was doing these along of arms. So that wouldn't be so stuck there towards the end, but it was my fuck up. It won't affect the end product much, it'll just, you know, be a little more exposed, if that's a way to put it. As I'm speaking, I'm probably losing concentration and fucking up at some point. But, anyhow, doink, doink. It's always good to keep them all connected to the same areas. You go, well, yeah, keep them all in line. Now, look at the length. The winch leaf length is 18. Now we're going to go to constant value. Now of course you have to change around this constant value the more weight all that but 10 what is that? 1 million seems to be a good number for the uh, constant for dampening 2200 is good and for this number we want to make that that's the length 18. Don't add the decimals just add the first numbers. And we're going to place that right in the center. <coughs> <coughs> now go to your wire tool. I have a radio menu so I can hold X and go to it, but wire tool's right there. Look at dampening or length, whatever you have it set to. Hold shift, left click. Keep holding shift, left click. Holding shift still, left click. Left click, left click. Don't let go of shift. Left click, left click, left click, left click left click let go of shift aim at it. for dampening that goes to 2200 constant hold shift left click 
just left click, left click, just keep holding shift throughout this entire thing. Let go of shift, doink, constant goes to the big number. Length, hold shift, continue holding shift, same thing. Use your scroll wheel to scroll through the wire. Doink, and length goes to 18. Now length is at 18, all that. We are going to do this. We are going back to precision alignment. We're going to hit pose. Make sure that's all like that. Now you see where you ran your hydraulics, place a point where this end goes and where this end goes. After you do that, right click your hydraulic, make sure it's right clicked. Go to constraints, wire hydraulic, one to two, create constraint. Delete all. Go back over here. You have to do these individually because you have to have these wire uh, hydraulics right clicked in order to use just this hydraulic. You do the same thing for this one. It's not a good idea to fuck up that step. That That's a very important step here. Now, if you're smart, you'd do the opposite of what I did there, and you'd put the wheels on after you get done with all the torsion bars. But me being the idiot I am, I was impatient. It won't affect the end product. It'll just, you know, not torsion. Well, it'll torsion, but, like, wheels will be in your way, basically, while you're doing these steps. Unless you fading door. But I don't know of any ACF servers that don't have fading door of it on it. If it doesn't, chances are you shouldn't be on that server. Three. Okay, there's a fuck up there. There we go. I keep pressing Q instead of right click. <coughs> there we go. There's all your hydraulics set. Now you could, again, have seven there. You could remove the fading door in your wheels if you want. That's why I'm doing, because it's not really needed, it's just needed for that, because my dumbass put them on before finishing up the torsion. But now since these are access to the torsions, torsions are all set up now. What you're going to do is go to Ball Socket, Advanced, and I have presets for it, but set these settings. X minimum, negative 180, X maximum, 180, Y minimum, negative 0.1, Y maximum, 0.1. That should be 0 0.1, not 0 0.01. Z minimum, negative 0 0.1, and Z maximum, 0 0.1. Again, it should not be that. But as you do that, go down here to this wheel, hold E towards the center, left click, click on the side of your plate. It doesn't matter where on the side of the plate, just click anywhere on the side of the plate. And you just do this all the way around. Now you have to do it to the side of like the base plate. Don't do it to the torsion plates. You do that, you're kind of going to fuck some things up. And then I like doing a reversed, which is really just reversing it. So now you're... These are still negative 180, 180, but the Y is 0 0.1, Y maximum negative 0 0.1, 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1. I use these on cars for when you have stupid amounts of torque, but for this, you go from the base to the wheel. Base, 
to the wheel. Make sure you're going in the center of the wheels. If you don't go in the center of the wheels, wheels it won't roll correctly. Now you could also, if you really want to, ball socket center it, I think. I'm not too sure how that would work out. Never tried. Like ball socket centering with these settings. Never tried it out myself, but yeah. Alright. Now you're done with that. Weight. Set the weight of the wheels to 120. <coughs> For all the wheels. Go to your no collide tool and no collide your wheels. After all that, that's all disabled. I like disabling collisions on my base. Now with advanced duplicator you want to save it so I'm gonna create a new folder and I'll name it YouTube Torsion TT it'll be uploaded so y'all could get it as well so here it is now hold shift right click I have my area set up max let go of shift and right click again and that's how you duplicate that way right click this save Click this little blue th icons, plus, and there it is. Now, the wheels are set up, but they're not fully set up yet. Only the hydraulics and such are. So if you look here, let me kind of. Now you have, well, as you want tank suspension now you can change the ball sockets up for the wheels you use some people like living leaving a little slack in them some people don't I like leaving just a little slack go to ball socket center I have a preset for it tank but X rotation minimum negative ting X rotation maximum ting Y rotation minimum negative ting Y rotation maximum ting Z rotation minimum negative ting Z rotation maximum ting and only check rotation constraint you're gonna go from these, so I'm gonna color them. So these are drive drive wheels. They'll be this. These are the drive wheels, these are all the other wheels. So we are going to want to go back to ball socket center. Left click on this side, left click, left click, left click, left click. Make sure you're doing it on the back and not on the sides of the wheels. You always go from the drive wheel to all the other wheels due to the simple fact if any of those bomb wheels get blown off it will not stop the tank but if your drive wheel gets blown off it'll be realistic and your entire tank will just come to a crashing halt which would happen in real life mine is the crashing part hopefully not the crashing part that would kind of get a little painful but now you have a fully working tank body <coughs> Now you could adjust the weights, like with these I only recommend going for heavier tanks, 350 max on the torsion bars, and the wheels up to around 150 max, that's really all that's needed. Other than that, just play around with your settings. But now, we're going to get to the E2 part, which is setting up your tank, for the people that don't know how. We're doing a simple set, we're not going to do a zero turn setup, because that gets a little bit more complicated, plus I don't have permissions to hand out that E2. If I did, trust me, y'all would be getting that E2, because it is amazing. So, let's move our chair, I move it precision alignment, kind of like moving it to the center, keeping everything all nice and clean. You could just move it by hand if you really wanted to, it doesn't matter too much, just as long as it's on the body. I'm going to weld it to this base, always make sure collisions are disabled, everything except the wheels, you keep collisions on the wheels, that's why we no collided them. And let's put on, because for tanks I really love electric engines, because they are godlike with tanks. So let's get medium standalone. I like holding C and putting on the holders because they're amazing. But you get lots of torque output. Now you don't get speed with these, but you do get torque. And you could move them with precision alignment like I'm about to do. 
If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. So, there's that. I only had the little stands on there. Really, they kind of don't need to be on there, but whatever. And then, ACF menu. We are going to go under gear boxes, and you want to find CBT. Now, you can't use a medium because the torque. The medium, for some reason, only allows 475, but the large will allow 4,380. I'm confused on who designed the jumpage there, but sadly, that's how it is. So set the min target RPM to, let's say, usually see the power band, how it goes 10 through 3,500 RPM with a red line of 7,000? You set to the power band, so I'm going to set this one not to 10 exactly, because I want to give it a little playroom. So I'm going to set to 50 for min target. You could adjust that to 100. It's about the max I would go there. And then you could set the uh, max RPM to 3,500. I like keeping the final drive at 1. Due to the fact you keep as much speed as possible, it's a good idea. Now again, you could precision alignment and stuff. I'm going to, but you don't have to. It really doesn't matter. And I fucked up. Do 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 do. <coughs> I just like keeping stuff nice and clean. Disabling collisions. And then for this version of the tank, because we're not doing a zero, a zero steer which uses transfers, we're using uh, just basic, so we'll go to a differential. You could still use these four if you really wanted, but we're going to differential, and we want a medium dual clutch. Set the gear 10, set it to 1. And gear 1, just keep that 0 0.5. I set it to 1 so I could get maximum uh, speed out of it, but also good handling. And again, I'm going to precision it. You could just move it, but I like precision in it. R, move stuff back, right click, move stuff forward. You adjust it to push, pull, mount mines at 10. There you go. You want to get it lined up mostly decent with your wheels. Doesn't have to be perfect, just mostly decent. And then ACF menu, right click the engine. Right click this, right click this, right click this, right click this, right click that, right click this, right click that. To unconnect, you'll right click this, hold shift, and then right click the object. For the people that don't know how. But anyway, since that's done, again, disabling collisions on that. We will go wire, pod controller. And I am going to be giving y'all a tank chip I personally like, which is a tank drive. Tank drive 9, I believe. <coughs> I personally like it because it, it's a good chip. There's nothing bad with it. It's a really good chip. Pod, pod, it automatically connects everything up for you to pod. Active goes to active. Throttle goes to throttle on the chip. Gear on your CBT goes to final gear on that chip. And then you have right brake goes to right brake. Left brake goes to left brake. Right clutch goes to right clutch. And left clutch goes to left clutch. That's all you have to set on there, so she's basically ready, except the Thanth electric engines, you need fuel. That's the only downside to them, you need fuel. So we're going to get a, uh, let's go, Oops. oh, that's amazing, oh, that's great. Alright, let's do a 2x2x4, two by two by nah. 2x4x2. Two by by two. Let's spawn two 2x4x2s. Two by by Make sure you select electric on them. Disabling collisions again. And we'll precision move them so we can keep the weight stable on the vehicle. And let's move them to right here. <coughs> that one on that side.
this one on this side, I believe. Yeah. Well, you to you, well, you to you, wire active to fuel, active to fuel. You can also add wire it to active on the pod controller if you wanted to, but I just like doing that. ACF menu, right click the engine, right click the fuel, right click engine, right click the fuel. And that should be it. Now, A and D might be reversed. You'll just have to change that around in the E2 if it did. Yeah, A and D's uh, reverse, but yeah, it's just W A S D. And we're mainly worried about suspension. You could play with the engines and stuff yourself, but there's your tank. So uh, yeah, let's take you over to the uh, suspension area real quick. It's always good to duplicate. Now this tank doesn't have a uh, make spherical on it because I really didn't need it on this one. That really makes spherical does a lot better, but also affects the steering. So it can make it steer worse. But it is required for stuff like that, so your wheels don't do that. So let's go make spherical it, and then adjust the gearbox accordingly. So make spherical. I like set mine to 10. Don't play with anything else. Just 10. Point, 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 point. Just left click your wheels. And always use a duplication, never use the actual vehicle that you're working on. And let's see how she turns right now. Eh, she still doesn't turn that bad. You may have to adjust your final value on the tank if you want to turn better. Like, yeah, it still does pretty good, actually. So yeah, it doesn't seem like y'all have to do that, but there you go. Now, of course, when you do that, makes spherical, it messes with it. It messes with the tank. I like changing the physical properties of the wheels so it slides more, too. So it's not so grippy. I'll change it to usually paper or something like that. It affects the climbing, but speaking of the fact that I don't do much climbing with my tank, I really should pay attention where I'm going. Also, hold R, R is reverse, S is brake. And I got stuck. But there you go. Major, you want to come look at this amazing suspension? Can you drive over here? I'm trying to find an object that I can actually text you. Uh, yeah. Not the fastest. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope y'all can make a decent tank. Have a good one.